Hi, good morning, happy Wednesday, everybody. Uh, my name is Jake from jakeenjoy.com, and we come to you live every Wednesday with our show tips and tricks about online marketing, network marketing, uh, social media marketing, any kind of business marketing. <laughs> we, we come to you with different tips and tricks that we have learned over our collective 28 years in the network marketing industry. I am just waiting for my lovely mama to hop on here. We do this show together, which is so fun. Um, I live in Northern California, she's in Southern California, so it's fun to every week uh, do this little live show together. And when we're together, it's even more fun. Okay, here she is. <laughs> almost, almost coming on here. <laughs> sometimes it takes a little longer, sometimes it's quick, sometimes it just depends on, I don't know what. <laughs> Today we are talking about um, the difference between accountability and support, and uh, I'm going to get into it uh, a little more detail when she gets on here, but it's taking her forever, so I'm going to try again. Let's see if this will work this time. We love technical difficulties. There we go. That's me. Hi. Hi. Hair looks cute. Um, yeah, it's really cute. The, uh, when you came on, it was up and down. It wasn't sideways. So that's why I couldn't join. Weird. I had it sideways. It's been sideways this whole time for me. It's so weird. Yeah. So if you guys are, are trying to do live videos with someone else, um, you want to practice it a few times. But even if you do, that stuff can happen. That's just, that's just how it is. And I am yeah. so dark. I'm in the same place that I always am. <laughs> I am. Don't make fun of me. I didn't say a word. It's a dark day today. Can you see me okay? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. It's fine. Yeah. Hi. I'm Joy from jakeandjoy.com. Did you already start with that? <laughs> and I'm Jake. What? No, I just I just told him what we're going to talk about. Cool. What are we going to talk about? Uh, so we're, so, um, I'm just going to start with a question. So uh, have you ever been told you need to find an accountability buddy in your business? If you have, give us a one. If you've, been, if you've been told that you need to find an accountability buddy uh, in your business, give us a one. And uh, we're Jake and Joy from jakeandjoy.com, and today we're gonna be talking about accountability versus support. And this is a really, hi, Taylor, hi. Awesome, thanks for watching. Oh yeah, and uh, let us know where, where you are viewing in from. We'd love to kind of get, get to know you guys a little bit, a little bit better. Um, so we're talking about accountability, accountability versus support. And this was, we learned this, we were at a, at a workshop uh, with a mentorship company that we work with a few weeks ago and they talked about this and it really blew our minds. <laughs> it blew our minds. And I was like, this makes total, this makes total, total sense. No accountability buddy. Okay. Well, you want to think um, about it. You want to tailor has no accountability buddy, but, but, but think about it for a minute. Have you ever done anything that you needed accountability for? Like anything, like, like even like have, being a good parent, if your kids are in school, they're holding you to account. Um, if you are going to run a half marathon, hey, Taylor, yeah, we'll see you next weekend. Um, but like, for example, do you see this cute outfit I have on? Can you see it? It's really cute. Yeah. It's a tennis dress. And I just started playing tennis with these girls, women, and I got to show up at 11 o'clock today because they're all going to be there to meet me. And I have this really cute outfit on, but I can't bag on them because it's four of us, right? So you can't not go. Jake, it's the same thing for you with volleyball, right? Yep. Yep. You can't, you can't not show up. doesn't matter how bad you, how bad you feel. It doesn't matter if you don't want to go because you've told someone you're going to show up, you do show up. And, and, and there are certain areas in life where we are really good about that. Like where we show up because we know we have to, and we like made a commitment and then we're committed to other people. But a lot of times, and usually but, it's yeah. where we're volunteering and we're not getting paid. And that's where we hold ourselves to the most account. Give us a two yep. if that's true for you, that you hold yourself to account in areas that you are not getting paid for. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. I, oft I oftentimes have been stricter about playing volleyball than I have about my business. And that is like crazy talk, backwards land. Um, and so what we're going to talk about today is, it is the, those, two different, those, those two different things, accountability, accountability versus support. And, and we do, we hear all the time, you got to find an accountability buddy, find a buddy in your business, find someone who you can work alongside with, who's going to like, you know, push you to, to grow your business and is going to, you know, help you stay on track. And that's awesome advice. But what happens most, almost all the time, almost all the time, what happens is we find a support buddy and not an accountability buddy. And we don't even realize that that's what's happening because what we do, what support looks like support is 
okay, I have this, I have this someone, this person who I'm going to be accountability buddies with and we check in every day and like, that's going to be our thing. But what happens on those check-ins is it's like, oh, I didn't get my stuff done because this, that, and the other thing happened. And the, the, the buddy is like, oh, that's okay. Don't worry about it. You can get up back on track tomorrow. Um, you know, it's a lot of problem solving. It's a lot of like, this isn't working and, and kind of like, you know, that like, and that, that's more support. And that's really what, if, you, if you've had that happen when you thought you had an accountability buddy, but it turned into support and you never, neither of you ever actually got anything done. Give us a, I can't remember what number we're on. Three. Two? Three. Give us three. two. Give us three. If you've had that. Cause I definitely, that like my idea of having an accountability buddy, it was like, that doesn't work. Nothing ever gets done. I, I never had success with, with having and an accountability buddy. Cause it wasn't feel that way with your downline. If you're in network marketing, um, if you're in network marketing and you feel that way with your downline, cause they're good friends of yours. And like, they call you up just to bitch and to complain. Give us a four. If that happens to your network marketing business, I know that happens a lot. I'm kind of known as a hard ass in my, in my, my uh, organization. And so like some of my leaders will sick me on their downline if they feel like they've gotten into that kind of a relationship with them. Like they're just like calling them up to complain and to like get let off the hook. So um, I am kind of known right. as a person that I will hunt you down. Um, <laughs> and sometimes people do not like that very much. So you have to decide like, are you willing to be held account? Like, are you really, really, really willing? And if you are, give us a five in the comments below. If you're ready to be held to account. Okay, I'm done yeah. preaching. And yeah, you know, and, and so an accountability buddy, you know, Taylor is bringing up a good point. You know, an accountability buddy can't, doesn't have to be someone in your organization. It would be nice if it is, if it's a downline or an upline, that would be awesome. But if you don't, you know, sometimes like I, we have some girls on my team, my team, we were taught, we've, where we've kind of set up as accountability buddies and they really had to think about, could they do this for each other? Because they've been friends for a long time. And sometimes if it's someone who's been your friend for a long time, it can be hard to be a true accountability buddy because you have such a, such a long standing relationship and you've already developed how you how you interact and what that relationship looks like. And so you might have to go to a sideline or someone who's a, who's a couple up, um, levels above you in your, in your upline or vice or in your downline, whatever. And it doesn't have to be um, local. Taylor said that, it, that she didn't want to find someone local and Taylor it doesn't have to be local and it doesn't, yeah, and, you, no. and it probably should not be a bunch of people because a bunch of people tend to let each other off the hook. So if you know that yeah. you made this commitment and you got it's, you have to be willing to be the hard ass with the other person. If you want them to be a hard ass with you, you have to be a hard ass with them. And you guys have to have, like, like setting up, Jake, I know that your um, uh, accountability partners with a couple people. Do you have consequences for when you don't get done what you were going to do? We haven't thought of that because no one's done it yet. Because so what, so, so, okay. So we, so we, we haven't, we're talking about accountability without having talked about it. <laughs> so, so support, we talked about support, what it is. It's kind of fluffy and like let, let each other off the hook. It's okay if you didn't get it done, your kid was sick, oh, that, that you're right, like you, did, you should not have done your work because your kid's sick or whatever happens, whatever. And it's like this whole justification thing over and over and over. Oh, you'll do it, you'll, you'll do better tomorrow or whatever. So that's support. And, you, and sometimes we need that. We need a little bit of that. We do, like in our life, we need a little support. But if we're trying to build our business and we want an accountability buddy, that is not it. So what an accountability buddy is, is it's, it's more like, don't show up to our freaking call if you haven't done your work. Like, don't get on this call with me if you haven't done your work. And if you do, like, we're not doing this anymore. So it's like, it's really, it's like really strict, intense. If you don't, like, it doesn't matter if it's three hours past your bedtime. If you haven't gotten your work done, you stay up an extra hour to get your work done. It doesn't, no one cares. No one cares if you're tired. No one cares what shitty thing happened to you that day. No one cares, like, what your excuse is because because all excuses are equal. And that's the attitude of having an accountability buddy. And it's like, you, but like we haven't had to have any consequences. On, I'm, I'm, I'm buddies with, with two people. Well, maybe the consequence is that you, you don't do it anymore. Like, you don't do what you right. said so you're going to do. It. We're, we're out of here. Like, that's, that's right. it. Right. That's the yeah. And so, you know, so it's like, that's really what it is. And, and both sides have to, be, have to be on the same page. Because here's what's happening. So the, how this started, it was a girl that came to me on, on my team, and she wants to hit our top rank um, within, within a year, which is a huge goal. She wants to hit it within the next year. And she was like, I, I really, I need and want to do this. Like she really has a need for this. And so we set this up. And so I know, like, I'm not going to let her down. Like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to let her down on when she's asked me to do this thing for her. I need, like, I need to show up for her and to help her get there to where she's trying to go. And then she, I, she, we're really good friends, but I scare her a little bit, <laughs> which is good. So she's not going to show up on our call. having not done, done it either. Like she was very clear that like she had a couple people that she could have been accountability buddies with, but she knew that she needed to be a buddy with me because I, she, because she's not going to show up having not done the work. 
And so that's, it's been really cool. Can I just interject position. something here? Yeah. So Jake makes a really good point because when Jake was going to the top position in our company, it made me run alongside her and she, I became her accountability partner without us even making that, that like a, a, a thing. We just like, we arranged our entire flipping life around work. And like, we got up and took a six o'clock class uh, with Jenny Schatzel every day. Cause then we would be like, we had coffee together and then it was like, bam, eight o'clock. We were working, working, working. We had like gotten all the stuff that we need for making smoothies and frozen them into bags for like, you know, a month. And, you know, we did take a day off every week to like wash our laundry, but like, it just like, it was, it was crazy. It was all out massive action for 10 months. And she reached the top position in our company in 10 months by having a, a buddy like that. Like that's not support. That is hardcore accountability. Like, what do you mean? What do you mean you're not coming to class? I'm already here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that, so that's really, you know, so accountability is really structured. And the thing that happens for your mindset is that like you, it's like, it's so cool to see the shift in intention with your business. Like just by, just by making that agreement and starting, like after, after the first couple of days of doing that, she and I it had a totally different posture around our business. Cause it was like, we were taking, we were actually treating this like a business. We were actually showing up to our business like a business instead of like a hobby like you know like like you know treating treating my business the way that i treat volleyball like she's actually showing up and you know like it felt so good to like to even when in the days when we don't want to do the work to know that we have to it's not an optional it is not an option and so it's the total shift in how your business runs because like your business requires consistency and you could decide like the the you know, so we created a dmo together like we set it all up of like what that looks like and then and so we're doing the exact same dmo and then, so we check in whenever, when we're done, we check in throughout the day and you know, we like getting that DMO done every single day completely changes the feeling of, of, in our business and the feeling of how, like how we feel about our business. Cause we know that we're showing up for real to play. And you know, Jake, you brought up a really good point again about this whole hobby thing. And we said it earlier that most people set up accountability around hobbies and not around their business. Most people treat this side hustle that they have. They treat it worse than they treat a hobby. They, they, and, 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 the, and it comes from this fear of appearing salesy or this fear of not succeeding or this, it's all about what's in between your, your ears. It's all about your fear that, oh, somehow someone's going to think something of me or somehow I'm not going to be successful at this. And so you take, you take the really shitty posture of, well, I'm just going to do this as it fits into my life. I'm just going to do it if it's organic. I'm just going to do it if it comes naturally to me. And I just, I, I don't, I'm, I'm not going to make it that big of a priority, but I'm swimming in debt and I don't have time to go to any of these things because I'm working nine to nine at my regular job, but I'm just going to let this happen naturally. Yeah. And if it doesn't, and if it doesn't work out that way, then I'm not going to do it. <laughs> yeah. And if it doesn't work, then, you know, God doesn't want it to work for me. Or then, you know, how do you even argue with that? God, God does not want me to succeed at this. Well, I got a message for you. God don't row. Yes, he does. <laughs> God, God doesn't row. I, there's, there's a funny joke. Let me tell this joke. It's hysterical. So there's this flood, and this guy is really religious, and um, the firemen come from him because he's going to take him out of his house, and the guy goes, no, I'm, I'm, I'm cool. Um, you know, God's going God's gonna to take care of me. And so he, he sends the fireman on his way, and uh, then he's, he's on his roof because the, the flood has come so high. And a boat comes along for him to get into it. And he doesn't get in. He says, God's going to save me. So he drowns and he ends up in heaven. And, and he says, God, you know, you didn't save me. He goes, hey, I sent you a boat, but I don't row. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like that joke. That joke that is a good joke. Yeah, so you got you got, yeah, you got to take the opportunities that are in front of you. And having an accountability buddy is, you know, is, is can be a huge piece in you saying, okay, I'm actually going to take this thing for real. I'm actually going to put this, this vehicle to work and have it, have it change my life. But you have to, you have to show up every day. It's not a vehicle. It's a boat. It's a boat. It's a boat, which is also a vehicle. <laughs> but you have, yeah, so you, you have to show up. You have to show up every single day, treat this like a business, not like a hobby. And I do really encourage you to find an accountability buddy, like an actual true, real accountability buddy. Um, who's going to hold you to what you say. And come back here and tell us who that is. C comment in the post below. Yeah. Like, like I found an accountability partner. She's my sideline. He's my upline, whatever. Um, he's a friend, what, whatever. Tell us who your accountability partner is. And Jake, what do you think about the idea of, should they be doing the same activities? 
Uh, it, so I, like, that's, that's what we're Kimberly doing with thanks. you. Don't, Kimberly thinks we're hilarious and offering us meaningful lessons. Thanks. We think we're hilarious. We too. think we're hilarious. <laughs> but could it be? Like, could, we think we're funnier than we probably are. <laughs> so, so could somebody be um, training for a marathon and be someone's accountability partner for business, or does that not make sense? I, I mean, you can. I think you could. I just, I, you could try it. Like we, so I, I have two other girls on my team who are accountability buddies for each other, and their activity is a little bit different. So they took the, the DMO that I, that that my girl and I created, and they kind of tweaked it. They each tweaked it for what worked for them. And so I, that, like, if you, like, as long as you have a a, an, a DMO that you send, like, send it to your accountability bu your accountability buddy. Like, e like, let each other see what your DMO is. And that way, like, make sure that it's actually legit, not some easy, sissy, stupid thing. DMO, sorry, uh, is a daily mo daily method of operation. So it's like what you're going to do each day. So whether it's, so we our, ours ha we have um, stuff around like when you're going to, when you're going to be posting, what you're going to be posting, which platforms you're posting on, how many reach outs you're doing, like uh, mindset work, you know, uh, education about our industry. So it's like, we have a lot that goes into our, into our DMO. Uh, if you want to know our DMO, you can message us privately. Um, and we're actually, actually, you, what you can do is in the link in this, in the video, the description of this video, there's a link to our Facebook group. And we'll be talking about our going into more depth into our DMO in that group. Um, you, there are some security, some security questions. <laughs> some questions. Do you own a gun? <laughs> you can't come into our group to be answered in order to, in order to get into the, in order to get into the group. And uh, we'll talk about DMO. <laughs> Uh, in there for sure in more in more in depth um so yeah so so create a dmo for yourself and if you're if it works for your partner also then great but you can you can adjust it for each other um and then you you know you, you kind of you check in every day that you've gotten your dmo done and like so what we had to do we set our dmo and then as we went we realized we had to make some adjustments because we just we just decided what it was and as we were doing it we made some adjustments we've been evaluating so make your dmo get your like do some of it, do it for a little while, and then go back and evaluate. Make sure that what you're doing is actually working. Because if it's not working, like don't just keep like banging your head against the wall if it's not, if it's not producing anything. So you know, make sure that you're doing activity and then evaluating with your partner and making adjustments uh, as you need. So we're, I think we're got a little long for this video. We did, because um, we, we so, had jokes today. And I, I like I know the jokes. Did. If you like the jokes, give us a six down below. I like, I like <laughs> the jokes. So if you like the jokes, give us a six in the comments and I'll come up with a joke almost every week because I belong to Toastmasters and we have a, a new joke every week. I got a million of them and they're, and they're funny <laughs> as hell. <laughs> All right, so uh, call to action for, for today. Join our Facebook group if you want to learn more about DMO. Um, and also our Facebook group is a great place to find an accountability buddy. It could be someone out, like, not in your company. It might be kind of cool. So yeah, that's a great place to, to find some support and accountability. I love all the well. sixes we're getting. Um, Lots of sixes, all the jokes. And also, right, you gotta we'll answer the jokes. three questions. If you try to join our group without answering the questions, you're not gonna get to join the group. So answer the questions. Oh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's about 30 people right, right now that haven't it. answered questions. Yeah, that's it, we're right okay. here. Jake and Joy from jakeandjoy.com.